Here is the Comica STA-U1 Cardioid Condenser USB Microphone. And here's my usual disclaimer spiel, where I say that Comica sent me this mic for free in return for a fair and honest review. I'm not at all affiliated with Comica, nor do I represent them in any way, and all opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone. In the box, we get paperwork. Nope. Around a six foot long USB-C cable with an adapter. A nice little base with some decent weight, and it looks like a boob. <laughs> Here's the microphone, which is pretty lightweight, but it's made of aluminum and not plastic, so that's a plus. I also think the old-timey retro look is kind of cool, and I wish they would have leaned into that more. On the back, we have our USB-C port and a headphone jack. On the front, we have a big old gain knob, which lights up when you turn it. The LEDs also work as a sound detection and peak indicator. Also, I should mention that because this does have LEDs, it will make you way gooder at your video games, possibly up to 400%, and who doesn't want that? And this is what the Comica USB microphone sounds like, and you've been listening to it this entire time. Everything is being recorded with no filters applied, the microphone gain knob is set at 50%, and the Windows mic input audio is set at 80%. Here's a plosive test. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, and here's a sibilance test. Sally shares a sack of sugary snacks with a syndicate of seven sneaky squirrels. Sally shares a sack of sugary snacks with a syndicate of seven sneaky squirrels. Up to this point, I've been keeping the Comica USB mic at about six to eight inches away from my mouth. This is what it sounds like at, I think, a normal speaking distance. This is what the Comica USB mic sounds from the side, about six to eight inches away. This is what the Comica USB mic sounds like from the other side, about six to eight inches away. This is what the Comica USB mic sounds like from behind, about six to eight inches away. This is what the Comica USB mic sounds like at about a foot away. This is what the Comica USB mic sounds like at about two feet away. This is what the Comica USB mic sounds like at about four feet away. Here's a handling noise test. This is what it sounds like as I talk and type with the keyboard directly underneath the Comica USB microphone about 8 inches away. Here is a background fan noise test. As for my final thoughts of the Comica USB mic, I rate it somewhere between a not bad to a pretty good. All jokes aside, it does what it's supposed to do, and I think it does a pretty good job of that. I also think it's really cool looking. But as with all the videos that I make, I hope that I've given you enough information to form your own opinion whether or not this is a good purchase for you. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time.